Hi friends, let's understand queues. A queue is a data structure in which data elements are added from one end and removed from the other end. The position of first element of the queue is known as front of queue and position of last element is known as rear of queue. The two major operations which are insertion and deletion of data elements are carried out using these two ends. Deletion of queue elements is carried from front end and insertion is carried from rear end. A real life example of queue is a queue of people who are waiting for a city bus at the bus stop. When a new person comes and joins at the end of the queue. This is a rear end. When the bus arrives, the first person from the queue enters first in the bus. This is a front end. Now let us see operations that can be performed on the queue. Those are insertion and deletion of elements. A queue is implemented using either array or link list. Here we are using array to implement the queue. Now let us see an example. To create queue of these elements, we take array of size 3. Initially, front is set to 0 and rear is set to minus 1. Suppose we want to add number 100. Then rear is incremented by 1 and it becomes 0. Thus, number 100 is added at the start of queue. Next, we want to add number 200. It is added after 100 and now rear is 1. Next, add number 300 which is added after 200. Now the value of rear is 2. Then add another element, say 400. But now Q is full, so it is not possible. After this, Let's delete an element from the queue. The number 100 is deleted from the queue because it is in front of the queue. Thus, now front gets shifted to first position. So here, we have seen that the element that has been entered first is deleted first. So, queue is a first in first out that is FIFO list. Now suppose if we want to insert more elements in the same queue. It is not possible as the queue is full. Although there is a space of element 100 which is deleted. But we cannot utilize the space because Q is nothing but a linear array. To overcome this problem, we use the concept of circular Q. To understand this, consider an example that a Q consists of names Tina, Meena, Raj, Hina and Ravi. So the circular Q is represented like this. Here in this queue, front is at name Tina and rear is at name Ravi. Now suppose we delete the elements Tina, Meena and Raj from the queue. Then front is at Hina. 
the position of front and rear are set using this formula. Suppose now we want to store the name John in the queue. For that, first of all, we will shift rear to insert the name. Hence, rear is equal to 4 plus 1 mod 5, which is equal to 0. So, we store the name John at 0th location. Similarly, if we want to delete a name, then the name pointed by front is deleted, which is Hina. Now calculate front is equal to 3 plus 1 mod 5, which is equal to 4. So, front is shifted to 4th location. Ok. The other type of queue is doubly ended queue, that is DQ. In DQ, elements can be added and deleted from rear end as well as front end. Consider this example. Let us insert the elements 10, 20, 30 and 40 by rear end. The DQ appears like this and rear is at element 40. Now if we wish to insert 50 from front end, then first we have to shift all the elements to the right and the DQ will be like this. Now if we want to delete an element from the rear end, then 40 will get deleted and rear is at 30. And if we want to delete the element from front end, then 50 is deleted and front is shifted to the next position that is at 10. So friends, now you know about different types of queues and their operations.